Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. The Sussexes' impact is just truly evident. As we said after the event, the Sussexes will continue to be booked and busy. Their reach and platform should not be underestimated. They've shown their impact time after time. They've truly lived up to the expectations of senior time staff, including Dan Maxi, Time Executive Editor and Editorial Director of Time 100, said the Sussexes are among the most influential voices in the world. Also, added at the time of the announcement that we look forward to working with them to elevate essential voices and highlight real solutions to some of the most pressing issues of our time. The Sussexes 100 Time Talk episode on Engineering a Better World is the most viewed episode so far, compared to others that couldn't even make it to 10,000 views. The CEO praised the Sussexes at the end of their event. They were involved in developing the theme, selecting guests and brainstorming topics for this edition of Time 100 Talks. I'd like to thank all of today's guests. We'd also like to thank P&G for making today's important conversations possible. And I'd especially like to thank the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for putting together such a powerful and thoughtful Time 100 Talks program. This post also includes an article. Emma Corrin, who plays Princess Diana in the fourth season of The Crown on Netflix, believes Meghan and Diana have a lot in common when it comes to how they were treated by the media. She said, You just want to shake these tabloids and say, Can't you see history repeating itself? the coldness, the traditions, and the expectations of behavior. I don't think Diana expected that. I think she expected to join a family. Another analysis. Prince Harry's baby Archie update reveals he witnessed some exciting firsts. As a first-time dad, it sounds like the Duke of Sussex is really enjoying some of the perks of staying home more often during quarantine. Recently, Prince Harry offered an update on baby Archie that revealed a little insight into his post-royal life in California with his son and wife Meghan Markle. Prince Harry has been spending loads of time with his family in recent months as they have moved away from their senior royal lives in the United Kingdom. During a virtual chat with education activist Malala Yousafzai, Prince Harry and Markle talked a little bit about their new private lives with their young son. Meghan got the ball rolling by talking about prioritizing education since becoming a mother. She said, to be able to raise our son in a way where everything about his nourishment is in terms of educational substance and how you can learn and how you can grow. You know, having the privilege of being able to go to school is something that, I think, oftentimes is taken for granted. Prince Harry chimed in to say that he has been grateful for the extra time with his son, particularly since he has been able to be on hand for big milestones while home during quarantine. The proud dad said, We were both there for Archie's first steps, his first run, his first fall, everything. Megan admitted that the pandemic has actually made it easier for the couple to be on hand to watch their little boy grow. She said, In so many ways, we are fortunate to be able to have this time to watch him grow, and in the absence of COVID, we would be traveling and working more. We miss a lot of those moments. Prince Harry has been open about enjoying all the extra family time during quarantine in the past. In August, he connected with the Rugby Football League in the United Kingdom for a Zoom chat and told them he has been relishing his time outdoors with his son. The last year has seen so many changes to Prince Harry's life, he could be forgiven for being overwhelmed. He stepped away from his royal role after an entire lifetime of service 
He moved across the ocean with his wife and son. And then COVID-19 happened, changing everything yet again. All of that change, however, has given him something he clearly finds more precious than anything. Time to see his little boy take his first steps, his first run, his first fall, and whatever else happens next. Another report. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex went from living a relatively quiet life in Toronto, Canada, to being one of the most famous women in the entire world. Before joining the royal family, she was a successful actress who got her big break on the legal drama, Suits, and although she was famous in her own right, the attention that Meghan received was nothing near what it is now. As the wife of Prince Harry, who has had global fame since the day he was born, the former actress found herself under the microscope as soon as she got married. It seems that just about everything Meghan does is criticized and picked apart, even more so now that she and Prince Harry have stepped down as senior working members of the royal family. She has talked about some sensitive issues, and most of the stuff she says instantly makes headlines. Even so, Meghan says that she lives her life with truth and authenticity. Here's why she's spot on. Meghan Markle was a humanitarian before joining the royal family. Meghan grew up living a typical life, just like the majority of her fans. Although her parents divorced when she was still very young, she was close to both of them as a child and into adulthood. Meghan was always a feminist and a humanitarian, knowing what she wanted and stopping at nothing to achieve her goals. She knew for years that she wanted to be an actress and had a number of small roles before her rise to fame as Rachel Zane in Suits. Meghan and Prince Harry were introduced on one of the world's most talked about blind dates and they haven't looked back since. Soon after meeting, the two took a getaway to Botswana, where they fell in love and realized just how intense their relationship was. It was after a whirlwind romance that the couple announced their engagement, and Meghan found herself transitioning into her new role as the Duchess of Sussex. Meghan Markle says she lives her life with truth and authenticity, there is a long list of royal rules and protocols that the royals have to follow, and for the most part, they pretty much do. Meghan, however, was the exception to this, putting a unique spin on things by doing them her own way. Even now, that makes it is final, some things she says and does are seen as controversial. This includes openly speaking about politics and the importance of voting and talking in depth about the Black Lives Matter movement. Just as anyone would expect, Meghan doesn't let the negativity get to her. In fact, she says that she lives her life with truth and authenticity. She knows that everyone is free to voice their opinion, and even goes so far as to say, there will always be naysayers. Meghan added that she focuses on herself, her values, and her moral compass, adding that, it's easy to live with truth and authenticity, and that's how I choose to move through the world. Is Meghan correct? Why is Meghan right about what she says? Many people forget to take into consideration that she hasn't changed from before she ever met Prince Harry. As a child, Meghan was always a feminist, and fans are surely familiar with the story of how she got the wording of a commercial changed to support women's rights. The Duchess even paid back the large amount of taxpayer money that was used to renovate she and Prince Harry's home, Frogmore Cottage, after they came under intense scrutiny while Mexit was being finalized. Looks like Meghan is definitely correct, and we are so happy that she hasn't lost sight of who she is or what she believes in. Check out one of our newest videos right here plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.